Hi, this is Leanne from Knitting Today, and right now I'm at Great Lakes Coffee Company with Patty. And we're talking about the Knitted Knockers project. So, let me have Patty tell you a little bit about what her and her friend are doing. They're a Fort Wayne chapter of the Knitted Knockers group. Hi. And um, yes, the knittedknockers.org was started in 2011 by uh, Barbara Demarest that was a breast cancer survivor and found out she couldn't wear regular prosthesis right after surgery. So my friend and I have started a Fort Wayne chapter of this national organization that provides these, they call them knitted knockers, absolutely free to any woman that asks. So across the country, women have um, asked for these. And so we're trying to have a Fort Wayne chapter to provide them and to spread the word to let women know that they're available. So I was showing Leanne a couple of variations of they can be knit or they can be crochet. And so we were showing her how we're packaging them into little, let's see. I'm gonna switch camera. Yeah, perfect. All so, right, so we have, cute. So, okay, so there's the knitted, knitted ones. And then those are by cup size. So we have some different colors. And then we also have some crochet versions that some our perfect shave friends are making and they're filled with polyfill and they're very light washable and so we hear women just love them so we're just trying to spread the word but here's we were showing her that's in some the process yeah so here's some being knit in the process on double point needles and do you start at the you start at the very center and you just add you make one as you go around and just okay. keep adding adding and it, it makes it and then on the back you do it a little bit different so that it's flatter on the back Okay. But, uh, it takes about three hours to make one. I hear crochet is a lot faster. You can also knit them on straight needles, flat, and then sew them, sew together. them together. So if you're not